There are some uh, peculiarities happening with the weather throughout the Northern Hemisphere at the moment. And uh, if you've watched previous 10-day trends, we've talked a lot about something called sudden stratospheric warming, which happened in the middle of February. And that was a sudden warming of air that was way above the North Pole in the stratosphere. And when that warming happened, it uh, disrupted something called the polar vortex. The polar vortex is this pool of very cold air above the North Pole. And when it becomes disrupted, well, it throws into whack the jet stream that surrounds the polar vortex. And that jet stream typically brings us mild and unsettled weather from the Atlantic from the west. Now, through next week, the jet stream will be coming from the west at times bringing us areas of low pressure. But uh, we've already seen that jet stream disrupted twice so far this March. And we've seen winds arrive from Siberia. And into next week, well, the jet stream looks to be continuing in this uh, fairly disrupted state. And that means that we won't get so many strong westerlies. And we could potentially open the door to northerlies. And that's the most likely scenario as we head into Easter weekend. Winds generally from the north, and of course, that will mean colder than average temperatures as we head into Good Friday and into Saturday. With those colder average temperatures, we will see showers, and those showers will be wintry, a mixture of rain, sleet and snow, particularly in the north, but not exclusively. So that's the most likely scenario as we head into Easter weekend, a colder than average feel with winds from the north and wintry showers. But the sun is gaining in strength, and that means that in any sunshine, it's not going to feel desperately cold. And it certainly doesn't look as if it's going to be as extreme as the previous two easterly wind events that we've had during March. Nighttime frosts, some snow showers by day, perhaps some settling snow, particularly over northern hills. But also some sunshine, and where we get some shelter from the winds, it won't feel too bad at all. You can, of course, keep up to date with all the forecasts through next week where you are. Any updates that we uh, issue through the Met Office website, through our app, and by following us on social media. Bye-bye.